and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate TV to get in today. We got quite a few things to go over. We watched, I watched the stream already, I don't know if you guys did, but we caught up on some of the content. We got quite a few things coming out today, well, quite a few things being announced today, and some things coming out today. So, to start off guys, they did, we do have the signature series today, that is the daily content drop. We do have a special stream tonight at about 7pm, Eastern Time that is, so convert that however it, it converts to wherever you live. Now, we also had some hints, some tips, and some... Kind of clues into what's coming out tomorrow. As you guys know, the Super Bowl promo, I believe, does drop tomorrow. That is kind of what they hinted at. I'll go into all that as the video goes on, guys. But before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. It'd be cool if we can get to 18,000 by tomorrow. We're super close. Everyone here who's new right now, first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys think of these clues I'm going to announce, what you guys think of these new signature series cards. And... Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Come and get 300 likes on a 1030 video. I always love when we can have a big banger 1030 video. Helps out with the rest of the day. It'll definitely help out to hit into 18K quickly, guys. So let's make it happen. Now let's get into this vid. So first things first, before we get into anything, there's a special stream tonight. Now, if you don't know what a special stream is, it is a nighttime stream that EA does before they drop some big content release. They do it before series updates. They do it before promos. They do it before big promos. Little pro doesn't matter. So more than likely, the Super Bowl promo is dropping tomorrow, and they hinted at it with saying... Super Bowl type stuff. Now, I'll get into all that slowly. But, guys, as you do know, Eli Manning did just announce yesterday, or there was an announcement that Eli Manning will be retiring Friday. Ironically, that also appears to be the day that EA is dropping the Super Bowl promo. And in the video, in the stream, I should say, EA did just say two times, two times, Eli Manning, like he won two times, Super Bowl MVP two times, beat the Patriots, whatever. He said all that. So they did announce that Eli Manning is pretty much coming. Now, what we don't know yet is if we're getting a career tribute Eli Manning or a Super Bowl career tribute Eli Manning or just a Super Bowl Eli Manning. If that was confusing, guys, there was like the Luke Keekley career tribute, like the Antonio Gates Luke Keekley. Is there one like that? Is it going to be like last year with the Super Bowl, just Super Bowl 2012 Eli Manning? Or is it going to be... Or 2011, sorry if I messed up there. I forget which one's which. Or is it going to be a Super Bowl career tribute type card? I don't know. It could be one of the three. So we more than likely will be getting an Eli Manning tomorrow. Pretty cool for Giants themed teams, although we already have Daniel Jones. But because it is a retirement type tribute card, I think this Eli's action would be really good. I don't think it would just be the typical run of the mill Eli Manning, probably a really good rated card, as the other career tribute cards were. So that's pretty cool. Next, they did announce Mutt Rewards, guys. Mutt Rewards, if you don't know, that's the thing that you sign up for online on the MuttRewards.com whole thing, and you put your email in, you put your you link your account, and you get like every promo, you'll get like training, you'll get some cards, you get like two all pro packs to uh, Team of the Year packs, that kind of stuff. They did announce that Mutt Rewards is coming. They said hint to refresh your Mutt Rewards. I don't know if that means refresh today or refresh tomorrow, but Mutt Rewards within the next 24 hours will be dropping, whether it's today at 10.30 tomorrow at 10.30. So we have all that. And the special stream tonight will be, mo more than likely, guys, the special stream typically goes over all the content for the most part. So tonight, if they do do the special stream regarding the Super Bowl promo, you will be able to find out when it's dropping, which is going to be tomorrow, more than likely. You're going to see actual cards and their stats. They typically do that. So you're going to see, like, some of the top MVP cards. What are they doing? A past and present. You're going to see the way they format it. Past and present. You're going to see the packs. Probably some pack odds. You're going to see some solos. Some free play. Pretty much everything you need to know about the promo. You'll hear tonight at 7 o'clock. And then you'll hear it on YouTube recap by us YouTubers at 10.30. Or you'll hear about both depending on if I make the video tonight. If I'm home for that. Now that, that covers the bulk of that. Like I said, Eli tomorrow. Eli tomorrow is going to be super cool. Especially as a Giants fan. I'm super excited for that. Now we did get the signature series today. And by the way, for Mutt Rewards... More than likely, it will come out tomorrow, in my opinion, because Mutt Rewards typically drops promo or theme-style packs that you get for free. So let's say tomorrow they drop Super Bowl-type content. More than likely, that does mean we will be able to get Super Bowl stuff, such as Super Bowl packs tomorrow, which is pretty cool, in my opinion, because that typically, like, for me, or for a lot, I know a lot of you guys are no money spent, right? So for a lot of you guys who are no money spent, you, all, you, you already know that, like, you're not going to buy these packs. So let's come over to the store real quick. If you look right over here, let's say you want to get the new style packs from the uh, Super Bowl promo, right? It costs 20 bucks. You're like, well, I'll never be able to see what those packs feel like. Mutt Rewards typically gives you a chance to get a free pack or so by just giving it to you. So you always get to get a feel like you were part of that promo a little bit. And sometimes I think they'd like to do it because it gets you like that pack fever too. But to sign up for Mutt Rewards, just go on over to the website, type in Mutt Rewards. It's probably not too hard to find. I signed up like seven years ago. I've been on here, or as long as it's been out, I don't know. I've been on here for a long time. I did it a long time ago. 
and it's always giving me a bunch of free stuff, which is super cool. More than likely, we'll probably get it tomorrow. Typically, when the promos drop, you'll probably get the Mutt Rewards package with it, which will also come with the, the free, maybe like a free Super Bowl pack. Or if we get the new currency tomorrow, which more than likely will be like Super Bowl rings, we'll probably end up getting one of those. Uh, like, let's say there's a Super Bowl rings. We got like 5,000 rings for free, depending on your level. There's levels, by the way. There's like elite, silver, gold, like that kind of stuff. So it really kind of just depends on what your account's rated as. And your account's based on how many years you... I, I think it's like the Maddens you played, how many packs you've opened. I think there's a few qualifications regarding that. I'm not entirely sure of all of them. I know packs is a big thing. So pretty much how much money you spent on this game. It's a big part of how they rank your account. Now let's go over to Twitter real quick. Or should I say Photoshop and check out these signature series cards? Guys, okay, so the first card that we have is Preston Smith, right outside linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. So, Packers theme team, you guys have a pretty solid linebacker core. I believe in the last week you got him Blake Martinez, you got him Preston Smith, and Zadarius Smith. You guys now have a pretty stacked linebacker core. You also got Jay Alexander. You have uh, Savage, although there's not many cards for him. I don't want to say he's hurt. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I could be, I'm just disregard that. Anyways, you guys have had plenty of defensive upgrades this year. You guys have plenty of defensive linemen. The team as a whole is looking solid defensively. Preston Smith is a good addition. He cannot be powered up, which does suck, but he at least can be under Green Bay Packer squad. Six foot five, solid height for outside linebacker. 85 speed, 92 excel. Now, pending on the way he's built, that could be good, that could be bad. 84 strength, 90 tackles, good. 90 play rex, amazing. 82 play rex, really low. 94 play power moves, really good. 78 finesse moves, low. So he's a pretty decent pass, or a pretty good pass rusher. Pretty good speed for a pass rusher. Pretty good power move. Not the best run stopper. So, I personally, on a regular squad, would not pick this card up. I'd much rather have my Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor is more dominant in every facet of a stat. But, in terms of a Packer squad, definitely going to be a solid addition. Going to be really fast on a Packer squad. Going to be really good in a Packer squad. And, he's obviously played, I'm pretty sure he played for other teams. I could be wrong. But, he cannot be powered up, so it wouldn't even matter. Don't kill me if I was wrong about that. But, this card's okay. Like I said, on the Packer squad, going to get like probably like 99 power move. Like 90 speed with Shaw Sprinter and Packers cams and everything. Oh, he cannot get Sprinter because he's an LTD. And he can, no, not because he's an LTD, but he can't be powered up. So that, that kind of does suck. Not not my not my type of card. Not my personal type of card. If the block shedding was closer to like an 87, 88, he would have been great because that means he could be a run stuffer and a power move guy. But the issue with the right outside linebacker, especially if you line him up in like a 3-4 on the edge, if he can't pa a power move, I mean, if he can't uh, block shed off the guy, he's going to always be hooked or held. And that's like, that literally stretch. Stretch is stopped by right outside linebackers or left outside linebackers getting pressure and then the secondary coming in. And if he gets blocked every time instantly and gives no shed at all, the line, the run back's always going to get a lane up the field. So I'm not really a fan of a right outside linebacker that can't block shed, especially with the meta of this Madden. Now let's head over to the next card, which is Derrick Henry. One of the Had one of the best playoff runs we've seen in recent history. It's a shame they're out of the playoffs now. I don't mind, though, because I am voting for the Chiefs. I mean, I like the Niners and the Chiefs. Either one that wins, I'm not going to be mad. But as far as coming out of the AFC, I wanted the Chiefs to make it out of the AFC. So I have no problem with him having to knock off Derrick Henry to do it. Now, it seemed a bit unrealistic, right? It seemed like not like it was sustainable what they were doing with Derrick Henry, especially against a team like... I, I was saying it the whole time. Once you versus a team like the Chiefs that are going to drop 30 every game, it's going to be real hard to outrun them. You, you'd have to keep a lead the whole game. And with the Chiefs, it's really hard to keep a lead. But Derrick Henry was one of the playoff heroes. We thought we were going to get like a playoff LTD. He did not. He ended up getting a signature series. So they had to fit his card in any way they had to do it. So they did it here. He can be powered up. He's an LTD. Six foot three, so he's massive. 92 speed, 91 Excel. I think they really messed up with the speed in Excel here. He's faster than that in real life. He doesn't look as fast as he's so big, but trust me, he has some speed. 87 agility, 98 carrying, 63 catching, 81 elusiveness, 92 trucking, and 90 break tackle. Personally, powered up and chemed up, you can probably give him like a 94 speed, which is still really fast. 99 carrying, like 95 trucking, 94 break tackle, 90 agility-ish. But he kind of looks like Saquon Barkley to an extent. Like the, the Mutt Hero Saquon. Obviously, he's better. Uh, this Derrick Henry's a little bit better, but I don't see him as great. If they'd given him a 94 speed and like a 90, he should have like a 95 break tackle. That's literally his calling card, his trucking, breaking tackles. I don't think they did this card justice, but it's Madden. We have to expect that, guys. Now, let's head over to the Madden screen to close out this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are into the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. They are still not up yet, as per usual. But, guys, we're really close to 18K. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Hopefully we can hit it by tomorrow. That'd be awesome. Comment down below what you think of the signature series. What you expect for Eli Manning. 
Are you going to be watching the special stream? Let me know everything down below. Comment down below. Noti Gang, if you made it this far. And can we get 300 likes in the video, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. You guys have been going crazy with the like button. Let's keep it going, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.